Okay, look at this crazy McCraserton How Music Works image. I'm just going to bam. What? Remember, remember this for TV. Um, but it kind of gives you a sense of this. And in South Park, music is so integral. We'll talk a little bit about how it manifests in South Park. But if you, if you notice, if you've watched enough episodes by now, music is a major part. I mean, they wrote a freaking, you know, uh, a musical, The Book of Mormon. I mean, and uh, Trey himself, uh, I believe he went to the Berklee School of Music in Boston, and then he dropped out. Um, but he's very musical, talented musically. He writes most of the music that appears on South Park that's original. He does not obviously write like the incidental music that you'll hear used, which is like soundtrack music. Um, he does a lot of the parodies, uh, and he writes a lot of the original compositions for the song. So, uh, for music played in South Park or made in, made for South Park, you have a few things here. So, um, the, if you look again, green arrows is money, red arrows is content. So let's just say for an episode of South Park, Matt and Trey make make some songs, okay? And these songs may appear on the soundtrack, they may only appear on uh, episodes, but they'll appear in DVDs, they'll appear in maybe video games, um, they may play on Spotify, what, whatever, uh, you know, even like if some of it makes it to YouTube or on Hulu, etc. So, um, they're represented by Warner Chapel. Warner Chapel is owned by Warner Brothers, which is one of the big three music groups that um, that exist and make you know, most of the music we hear or distribute most of the music we hear. Okay, so they make music, they make they write songs, and Warner Chapel is their publishing group. Warner Chapel uh, is the publisher that represents them and collects royalties on behalf for everything when they're episodes or music musical content is played and streamed on YouTube um, uh, ask you know when it's played on Spotify um, they collect those royalties they collect that money and they pay that back to uh, Matt and Trey or whoever whoever wrote the songs now if we look to at where it says Atlantic again this is like if Matt and Trey make uh, make a soundtrack or make something like a you know, original music that they record. Atlantic represents them as a record label, so for the actual sound recordings that you hear. So Warner Chapel is for the publishing, for the lyrics and compositions. Atlantic is for the sound sound that you hear. So I'll just kind of keep it to, you know, um, you know, the South Park movie or DVD. So Warner, you know, I mean, excuse me, Atlantic um, collects money, um, you know, for soundtracks that are made. They collect money for uh, DVDs, for video games, for the movie soundtrack. They also, uh, movie South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, okay? Obviously, you're the one who's consuming those those goods, and so through your consumption of those goods, you're, you're paying for those, in, in essence, like part of that money goes back to Matt and Trey via, um, via uh you know royalties based upon based upon sales of music essentially anything with music in it again the penny this is all highly contractual etc if you go back to the other side we go back to warner chapel um warner chapel will collect royalties anytime that matt and trey's music's played on the radio when anybody performs a cover version or when you have a live performance of the book of mormon or something like that uh uh, ASCAP also collects royalties for when episodes are played on television, which are quite a lot that contain music or actually lyrics in music. Uh, anytime this this content is played in a physical retail space or um, movie theater, anything like that, they get paid for the performance of their lyrics or their compositions that are in in episodes. Again, that's collected by ASCAP. ASCAP then gives that money to Warner Chapel. And this is kind of how, in general, uh, you know, the recording industry works, you know, more, more or less. As an artist makes content and they make a recording, they, if they wrote the lyrics and composition, they get the publishing, okay? And if they're signed to a record label, they're recording artists and they get royalties based upon sales um, for... Uh, 
things like movies, video games, uh, DVDs. Uh, there's negotiations over the licensing rights for the sound recordings you hear, which also goes back to them. And then they also get paid for the publishing side, the lyrics and composition in those songs, in those sound recordings that make it in the movies, video games, and DVDs. They get paid what's, what's called a sync license, which is anytime you sync an audio recording with a visual element, the sync covers the songwriter and composer uh, who, who, who wrote that, that music that you hear. So, um, you know, uh, so they get, they get paid royalties based upon that. So if Matt and Trey obviously write that music when it appears in, in a, in a movie, they get, they get paid songwriting, um, publishing money f for that as well as get paid for the sound recording. So I hope that kind of makes 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 sense is how, how the money kind of goes around in here um, essentially though they 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 get paid in every way in which their music is heard when we see and consume south park again we're saddam and we're uh, uh satan okay um in bed together consuming this stuff um they also get paid for sheet music so if you buy like any south park sheet music um they also get paid publishing again that's songwriting compositions so um yeah so that kind of like breaks breaks down a little bit about how it works and how record uh, recording artists get paid um you know and i mean essentially you know really what you want to know is any recording artist how their relationship works with a record label is they get fronted in advance i told you that they use that money to record a record and that could mean studio time engineers that could mean buying weed and pizza that could mean flying in an artist paying a guest artist hotels paying for parts of music videos um buying booths uh I mean, literally anything okay and they're given that money it's called in advance and how they pay that back is the they are given a percentage what's called points on um on each recording that's sold that percentage has to pay back the advance and then once they've paid back the advance, which, which is what's known as recouping, which means they've paid back the record label, then they get their 10 cents on the dollar or 20 cents on the dollar, their actual royalties, but they have to recoup. They have to pay back the record label. 